as uh, being requested and uh, by the FAO, uh, it's my great pleasure today to give a presentation about the Vietnam One Commute One Product Program. The content of my presentation includes four parts. The first is the introduction of Vietnam OCOP program. The second is the reroute of OCOP program in Vietnam over the last couple of years. The third is a lesson and future challenge. And the fourth is a proposal of Vietnam. First is the introduction of Vietnam OCOP program. The OCOP program of Vietnam is based on the experience of Japan one village, one product, or you call it OBLP, and also the Thailand OTOP program and other country experiences. Since 2013, some provinces of Vietnam has implemented the one commune, one product program with some positive outcome contribute to rural development and improving the living standard in rural areas. With that experience, in 2018, the government of Vietnam decided to implement the OCOP program for the period of 2018 and 2020 nationwide. So we scaled it up from the experience from some provinces to the nationwide. These are the some characteristics of the OCOP program of Vietnam. The OCOP program of Vietnam focuses on the development of the local specialized product at village and commune level with the main objective. The first objective is to increase the rural income and create more jobs locally. Second is to promote human resources and very important is to preservation of diversified culture. We consider the OCOP program is a rural economic development program, the work promoting internal resources, which include the rural wisdom, creativity, labor, raw material, and local culture, etc., to increase added value for rural specialized products and contribute to new rural development program of Vietnam. The targeted OCOP producer are small and medium enterprises, cooperative and households. The Vietnam OCOP product including six product groups. The first is the food. The second group is a beverage. The next one is a urban product. Next is a textile and dressing wear. The fifth group is a decoration and handicraft. And the sixth, the last one, is a community-based tourism. So you could see that the sixth product group, including some physical product, but also includes a community-based tourism. The proposed of Vietnam OCOP program. The program of OCOP of Vietnam try to increase or for producer to fully utilize the potential of land, product, and other competitive advantage to raise the product value, increase income, and contribute to improve living standard in rural areas. We also try to reorganize the production system to the whole value chain approach with close linkage to draw material production areas. We also increase apply higher quality standard for local specialized products to the new and modern technology. And also the OCOP program Vietnam to promote the startup and creativity in rural areas. So the OCOP program in Vietnam that's being implemented over the last three years. So we have some initial reroute achievement of the program in Vietnam. The OCOP program in Vietnam has been implemented in all over 63 provinces of Vietnam and that's becoming a priority solution to rural economic development. 
at the moment, we have a 4,847 of our products have been erected by government agency to achieve three star and higher, like a four or five star, among which food products account for more than 80% and handicraft products account for 10%, other with that 10%. So you see Vietnam have a six product group, then food products account for more than 80%. At the moment, 2,655 alcohol producers, of which property and small and medium enterprises account for 65.5%. So 37.5% so of alcohol producers are cooperative. 27.6% were SME, and remaining inquiry cooperative group and household. At the moment, more than two thirds of existing alcohol producers have achieved a higher sales revenue with average increase of 17.6% per year. So it's very, very positive outcome from the OCOP program over the last three years. The OCOP program has also contributed to job creation, especially we are very delighted to say that enhancing the role of women and ethnic minority. Around 39% of the ORCOP register owner are women. About 35% of ORCOP products are from the ethnic minority area. So these are very special numbers. In over the last three years, from 2018 to 2020 periods, the Vietnam has mobilized nearly 1 billion Vietnamese dollars a US do dollar to implement the OCOP program, of which the government budget account for very small part of only 2.7%. The credit contribute to 76.6% and investment capital of the OCOP producer account for 16.5%. So you could see that the mobilization of resources mostly coming from the credit sources and the investment of the OCOP producer. And over the last three years, we mobilized more than 1 billion US dollars to invest in the OCOP program. So with only three years of implementation, we also draw some lessons learned from the Vietnam experiences. The first the Vietnam OCOP target a village and community level specialized product for small and medium enterprise and also COVID to promote the development of unique and specialized products. The program is implemented nationwide with the involvement of all four levels of the government, the central government, the provincial government, the district government, and the commune government to getting a spin-off effect in the community, promote the local spirit responsibility and increase the capacity of our co producer combined with local advantage like a local wisdom, community spirit and diversified culture. So you could see that for the OCOP program in Vietnam, we involve on the four level of the government to the implementation. The program focus on improve the product quality and market accessibility in order to meet the consumer demand for unique traditional quality product and also to make it more accessibility. With first, the OCOP program of Vietnam focused on the 100 million population domestic market. But later on, with improved quality, we expand to the international market. The OCOP of Vietnam also developed OCOP product along with the culture dissemination utilize the internal value and advantage to promote and introduce the local, regional, and national culture. With some of the lessons learned, we are also facing uh, some challenge to go ahead. The first challenge is how to strengthen the innovation, creation capacity, product development, especially to develop a new product, and how to improve the quality of product further. One of that is how to make 
uh, locally specialized product to meet the demand and taste of the modern consumer. The second challenge is how to support OCOP producers to such programs like Green OCOP, Fairchild, with special focus on mountainous, remote, and ethnic minority in order to have the small scale OCOP product to be able to compete with the large scale mass production. You could see that the experience of Vietnam, we focus on small scale production, a specialized product. But how it competes, especially in terms of price, in terms of cost, with a large scale mass production. The next challenge is how to promote Vietnam OCOP to become an international recognized brand and to help to achieve sustainable development. Looking for the future. So at the moment, we have finished the first phase of the OCOP program in Vietnam from 2018 to 2020. And now we are preparing for the next phase, five year 21 to 2025. Based on the previous successful approach, the new OCOP program for the next five years, 2021 to 2025, will unexpectedly add some new direction as following. The first is to develop a standard for and foster the green OCOP product towards a circular economy and export market, like I just mentioned, how it contribute to sustainable development of the local area. So we will looking to create more green OCOP product towards a circular economy. The next one is to apply digital transformation to promoting small and medium production to increase the processing and marketing of our core product toward a higher quality and more value added product in the market. So you see that the digital transformation now become very important that we have to help the OCOP producer to apply the digital transformation through the whole chain process of the making and marketing the OCOP uh, product. We also want to uh, expand and we also want to introduce the Vietnamese diversified culture. So with the, that challenge and lesson learned for Vietnam, today we are very pleased to be able to be invited and talk about Vietnam experience and also with the heart of the initiative for FAO for a, a green OCOP in the future. So with that, we make some proposal you know that Vietnam has already proposed the initiative of promoting the network for ASEAN rural product development on the one village, one product model, which was approved by AMAP in 2020. Based on that, we would like to ask FAO to support and work with ASEAN country, including Vietnam, to implement the initiative for promoting the network for ASEAN rural product development based on the one village, one product model. In, that, in addition, we would like to ask FAO, will chair, co-chair, and promote the annual OCOP product development forum in order to exchange and share experiences among countries. We know that around the world, many countries have also experimented or implemented as a OTOP or OVOP model. So we would like the FAO will continue to chair, co-chair and promote the annual uh, OCOP product development forum. The second, regarding the initiative of green OCOP development. And I mentioned previously in my presentation, Vietnam already had the direction to uh, go ahead with the green OCOP development. That's why we also ask for, would like to see FAO will chair, co-chair and coordinate with other countries, including Vietnam, to research and develop the international green OCOP criteria, which is widely recognized by country in production and trade. And we also would like to propose FAO to accompany and support resources and techniques for country, including Vietnam, to experiment and organize green OCOP development, from which we can draw lessons and expand further in other country and region. So that's all for my presentation.
Thank you for listening.